Good afternoon YouTube viewers and subscribers. So, um, a few days ago I posted a video about my take on after run oils and I had mentioned in there that I've always used Marvel Mystery Oil and that I've never had Marvel Air Tool, bef Air Tool Oil before. Well now that's changed and actually it's not even completely true because I do find that I had a bottle of this um, and I used it up at one time. It was many years ago apparently, but I found one in a cupboard in my in my uh, cabinet. So what I've got today is two brand new bottles of Marvel Mystery Oil and then Marvel Air Tool Oil. And the reason I've got this is because I wanted to do just a really quick and dirty comparison of the two and not really... Because what I found was that when I looked on the Marvel website and I posted this in the comments of that other video is that the SDS sheets for these two materials are identical. The only differences between those two SDS sheets is the name with the part number and the product name. Other than that those sheets claim that these two things are identical and I'm pretty sure that's not true because I've had several people tell me Marvel Air Tool Oil is not the same as this but now I can actually show everybody that it is or it isn't and maybe what we're gonna find is that the SDS sheets on the Marvel site are just false and wrong which you know that's a bad thing so what I've got here is a sheet of glass and a piece of white paper underneath it and the reason I've got this is because I was gonna just put a little bit of each of these oils on here in the attempt to hope that we can see a difference in uh, the color and maybe just kind of quickly tilt this glass up and just see a flow test real quick. I mean not scientific or anything whatsoever. So this is a brand new container and I've even got the receipt um, that I got and, and it's funny because it's, I got these things and you can see this is sealed. I got this from O'Reilly Auto Parts which just so happens to be a short walk uh, about a block away from where I work so I was like oh, what the hell I looked online and they said they had this air tool oil I was like well hell let me go and look for it so uh, this is I don't know how I'm gonna just put a little bit here without making a huge mess but I really just want a few drops so there's a few drops of Marvel mystery oil. Let's see what this Marvel air tool oil looks like. Okay, clearly not the same color. And I know, unfortunately, we don't have smell o vision. This doesn't even smell like. Marvel Mystery Oil and it's funny because putting it on this glass and with this white paper underneath it it looks so much more pink than it's actually showing here. I'm probably gonna have to try and equalize these two pools as much as I can there. I'm just gonna quickly kinda do a silly thing and just kinda quickly tilt this up and see if there's any kinda difference in I don't really see much difference there looks like they both flow about the same so clearly the SDS sheets on the Marvel uh, website are wrong because clearly these two lubricants are not the same uh, Marvel Mystery Oil smells different and it's obviously a different color so there is obviously something that's different there the only other thing I've got here is uh, some gun lube, which this is called Gun Slick Ultra Lube Advanced Gun Oil, and it's uh, what I use to keep this beauty in good shape. Now this is not an aerosol, but it's a spray can or spray bottle, but I want to kind of do the same thing here with at least the color because this is you know pretty good ooh shit pretty good lube that stays on my my firearm 
really well. Now this stuff smells like complete shit. I mean it it really smells nasty. It is real bad. Um, but it's very similar in color to the air tool oil. Let's just really make a mess here. Well, I don't know. I don't know if this is proving anything or not. I don't know if this is worthwhile or not. Other than the fact that it does prove one thing. That the Marvel website for their SDS sheets is completely wrong. Um, between these two products, they say they're exactly the same, and yet they're nowhere close to being the same. Um, so, you know, these both feel about the same. Obviously one smells better than the other, and the Ultra Lube really smells like garbage. But, so I don't really know if this proves anything or not, other than the fact that these two are not the same, and for my money, I'm going to pay for this, because this is a quart for, I think it was $3.99, I'll have to pull my receipt out, and this is, what is this, four fluid ounces for $6.99, so what the hell. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the more economical thing here than this. Now that I've got this, I'll probably use it, but I'm going to use it incredibly sparingly since it was $6.99 for this, and this one was $3.99, something like that. We'll have to look. I'll have to look on my receipt. I'll put a picture of my receipt up here so you can see it. Anyway, that's just that quick and dirty follow-up video. I think both of these Marvel things are equal, but I mean this Ultra Lube is probably equally as good as used in the after run, but when you start finding things in really small containers like this, it tends to mean that they're more costly. So in my opinion, and since I've used this for many, many years, this is the most cost effective thing for me to use because you get more for your money, and I've already proven to myself at least that it works fine. So this will be the end of any... Uh, after run oil videos that I make. I think I've proven my point enough that my Marvel Mystery Oil is more than adequate for uh, using as an after run oil for engines. So, thank you very much for watching.